Welcome to Week of Gratitude, a Thanksgiving countdown. We're Rick and Teresa Starr from Positivity Life, and this is day two of our countdown. Have you ever wondered how some people seem to naturally have an optimistic attitude? They seem to go through life in a mindset of abundance and positivity, regardless of the challenges they may be facing. What is their secret? Well, author journalist Medley Beatty gives us a clue. She said, gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past and brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow. So gratitude is the secret to an abundant life. And although some people may be more optimistic by nature, everyone can develop optimism. In our Positivity Life podcast, Season 1, Episode 8, we interviewed author and positive psychology coach, Dr. Colleen Georges. In the podcast, Dr. Georges identified herself as a pessimist by nature. Yet after years of intentional gratitude work, she now describes herself as an optimist by practice. She credits gratitude as her main tool of transformation. She realized that there's great power in seeing all the good. She now states, quote, throughout the day, I'm constantly thanking God for everything, end of quote. And hoping to influence her five-year-old son, Dr. George has introduced him to a nightly routine. At first, it was difficult for him to think of three gratitudes, as she calls them, every evening before going to sleep. After a year and a half, he looks forward to sharing all the blessings he's noticed during the day. Dr. George has also stated that it isn't really enough to just express gratitude. She explained that part of living in gratitude is giving back. She and her now six-year-old son have a regular practice of serving twice a month at a food pantry, which benefits the hungry and the homeless. So, what's one thing you can do today to exercise more gratitude and gain the associated benefits of optimism and abundance into your life? Here are just a few ideas. First, take a nature walk. As you walk, use all of your senses to mindfully savor the beauty around you. This experience can enhance gratitude because it builds a sense of awe as you come to recognize that you're part of a greater whole. Another idea is to make a cornucopia or a collage with pictures of all the things for which you're grateful. Children especially love this activity. That's true. Best of all, do what Dr. George's and her son do. Find some place or someone to serve. That way you can live in Thanksgiving as you lift the burdens of someone in need. I love that one. If you want to live in abundance and become a practiced optimist, Stick with us on this gratitude countdown and please tune in tomorrow for day three. Have a great day. As the popular saying goes, the secret to having it all? <laughs> <laughs>